Hey everybody, Jeff here. So today is, let's see, what is today? August 31st, 2020. So Labor Day is next Monday. I said that wrong the other day. And what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure to get some pictures of the new flowers that bloomed. As you can see, I have a couple new roses. Look how pretty that rose is. And a lot of my other ones, like these guys over here. So anyway, so tell me, what are you doing today to make your day matter, okay? You know, it takes a lot of work in order to become a rose. I think sometimes roses and people laugh at me. Um, the guy off of uh, Police Academy had a flower shop. The really big guy, if you guys remember right. <laughs> but anyway, what are you doing today to make your life matter? What are you doing to make a difference in your life? Make sure that you start today great. It's I know today it's coming to an end for a lot of people getting off work. But to me, I'm getting pictures of the butterflies out here. I got a bunch of monarch butterflies. So the whole idea is I want to make sure you know that you matter, that you're important, that you are loved and cared for, even if you don't think it yourself, okay? And each one of us, we are exactly like a flower. And I can use it because, like I said, you guys have been seeing me do these flowers all summer and for years now. But each one of us takes watering. Each one of us takes fertilizer. You know, each one of us is in soil that we have to navigate with our roots, and if you really think hard about it, and I'll give you a talk that I usually use on stage, but if you think about it, our roots are what make us who we are, okay? So if you look at corn roots, the roots that come on corn as corn grows, the roots come out of the ground and a new set of roots go in and it goes up and up and up. When we, I had an 18 foot um, stalk of corn before and it's in my uh, book or it's in my back or if you go look at my videos and you'll see and the roots kept going up and up and it formed new roots. Well, like roses and flowers, mighty oak trees and everything else, the roots are bigger underneath the ground than they are above the ground. And a lot of times when we do things in life, we forget that our past is the roots that we have. What we've done in the past, uh, whether or not we've gotten enough water, whether or not it was a dry year, you know, it tells a lot about us. We're sad, we're happy, the times that we've lost loved ones, the times that we've been depressed, that we struggle, that we fought hard for something that we wanted more than anything else in life. These are all very, very important things and they make us who we are. Those are our roots. Our roots are our family members. And you know, sometimes, you know, we have to get away from family members because they become toxic. Why? Not because they're bad, but because we just can't be around them anymore. Sometimes we got to go around to people that celebrate us and not tolerate us. We say this because like, there are people out there that no matter how much we love them, they just can't love us back. They can't put forth the energy that we need. But the thing about it is you need to find an area where you can get that energy. Okay. Now, other things like right now, I've got my squash. It's trying to find any way possible of staying alive, to keep growing, to keep expanding. And that's how each one of us has to be. We have to know that we matter, but we got to go and find where we matter. We need to stay away from toxic environments. Like this guy right here, okay? This is a squash. But if you notice, he's still growing, but guess what? He's been off the limb for a while, but look at him. He's growing. He's ready to go. He's ready to eat. And the reason why that's so fabulous and that's the reason why that's so great is each one of us, sometimes we don't know that we're, we're ready to go. We're ready to get out there in the world, okay? Now, sometimes, and that's one reason why I always like the sunscreen song for all of you that don't know what the sunscreen song is. You know, some of us don't know what we want to do and we never will because we're constantly looking at bigger and brighter things. We're constantly following our dreams. We're constantly doing things where people like look at us and you know, we're the first ones to say, I don't understand why they can't just settle down. I don't understand why they can't just be like every other person, every other normal everyday person. Well, if we were, then their other comments were like, man, I wish I could do like he does, or man, I wish I could do what they do. You know, we would never get those type of compliments. Why? Because those are the type of compliments we get because we think outside the box. We go after what we want. We believe in God. We believe, you know, I, I'm right now, it does make me mad here, seeing all these people out here that there's like science over God. Well, you know what? Science and God can exist in the same world. And this is not a God talk. This is anything like that. But I'll tell you what, right now, science cannot explain 
almost 90% of what goes on. Okay? Science can't explain it. And 90% of anything else, we can't explain who God is. And the reason why is because the facts, they coincide with each other. You know, we, we have to do what's best for ourselves. We have to make sure we matter every day. And we need to reach out and help those that need our help. We need to be better today than who we were yesterday. We need to be great every single day of our lives and not worry, you know, about what people say, think, or do, but worry about what's right in front of us, okay? Do what's right, you know? We live in a republic, 